Good evening. So I was going to um, demo for you guys how to do my winged eyeliner. Um, I did take all my eye makeup off for you guys, so I'm down to my bare skin here. Uh, I left my eyebrows on. I did put a new color on for you tonight. This is Fly Girl. What do you guys think? I usually am a blue-red kind of person, so this is uh, a little bit darker than normal for me. I like the bright reds, so this is kind of a interesting combo for me. But I thought I'd crack one open because it was the one color that I haven't opened yet. So, All right, so... Um, you guys jump on and say, hey. So I see Sarah's watching. What do you guys think of Fly Girl? I just opened it up tonight. I kind of like it. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to demo my like fall lineup of colors is what I'm going to demo. So these are my um, five must-have Shadow Sense colors. So my five fall colors are I'm going to... Um, prime my eyes with the our new Whisper Pink, and I really like it. Um, I'm going to use Copper Rose Shimmer on my lid. I'm going to use Garnet in the crease, and then I'm going to use um, Sandstone Pearl Shimmer above underneath my eyebrows for a highlight, and then I'm going to use our Onyx for my liner, and I'm going to do the winged look for you guys tonight. So stay tuned because the winged is going to be last. So we're gonna start with is the uh, Whisper Pink. So Pink Frost has been around for a long time, but Whisper Pink is kind of our new shade, and it's a very, very, very pale pink. Um, yes, yeah, so this is Fly Girl. For those of you guys that just jumped on, I just cracked it open tonight. I don't know whether I like it or Blue Red better. Like it's kind of a toss up at this point. So I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks. So this is Whisper Pink. So I like this because it really brightens up my eyes. So a lot of times you can use candlelight and um, it's a good skin tone, but this is like a really, really, really nice brightener on your lid. Just gonna make all those other colors just jump off your, your eye. So. Hey ladies, I know you guys are all like dying to see this. I tried demoing my winged eyeliner look for you guys on Saturday and um, as soon as I got like right to the point where I was gonna put my eyeliner on, my furniture people got here and I had to like cut the video short. It was pretty funny. I was like, see you later, gotta go, bye. So I never got around to doing it. So there's a nice bright um, base to start with. So then I'm gonna go to the Copper Rose Shimmer, and here's my trick with Copper Rose Shimmer. Um, it is a really pretty color just by itself, and I don't blend it a lot. So I take it with the applicator straight onto my eyelid, and see how much you can see it? Now that I put that really, really bright base down, and so I just come in here, and I just move it where I want to, and all I'm gonna do with my brush is I'm just gonna blend out the very top edge just so it's not as harsh. I'm not gonna to touch anything on my lid itself. Leave all that shimmer all alone and let it go because it is gorgeous all by itself and it does not need blended out in my opinion. This copper rose shimmer is so pretty all by itself that I almost hate mixing it with anything. But this is a must have fall color. So you're just gonna blend out the top. And for those of you guys that are new to Shadow Sense, it is a crease proof, smudge proof eyeshadow, and it is a um, cream to powder formula. So it does go on in a cream, but then it will dry in a powder form. And you get about, I don't know, a minute and a minute and a half to kind of blend it out as you want. And then it sets and it's there for the rest of the day. It won't move on you. The shimmer is not going to fall down on your face. It's gonna stay right on your lid. So you guys can see how pretty that is. It's absolutely stunning. And the, the Whisper Pink really like allows the Copper Rose to come through um, just because of the, the light pinks. And the copper color goes well with any of our pinks. All right, so the next I'm gonna take, um, I'm actually gonna go in and do our highlight next underneath my eyebrow because I want that to dry a little bit. Because you didn't blend this out, you gotta give it a chance to dry. So I'm gonna come in when this is Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. 
and I'm gonna put this right underneath my brow. And this gives you an instant highlighter um, above your facelift. Automatically brings, ooh, there's a lot of product there. It automatically brings your eye right to your brow bone. And I do like to use my finger for this. I think it blends better. So our best tools we were given are fingers. So don't think you have to have brushes. Okay. And then my next step is going to be garnet. So garnet is what I use for my brows. It is like a dark chocolate brown. Um, I also, this is like the number one color that I do a smoky eye with. So I take my fluffy brush and this is a Real Techniques brush and I get these at Walmart ladies. So like just pick yourself up some. There's whole different sets and collections or you can get the cheap, cheap, can't speak, cheap elf brand. So with something this dark, all you wanna do is take your fluffy brush and you just wanna barely touch it and get product on. And you're gonna literally go right here in the corner of your lid and give yourself just a hint of a smoky eye right here. You don't wanna to go too terribly dark because you're gonna give yourself a smoky eye or give yourself the winged look. So you don't want a whole lot, just enough to give yourself some definition in the corner. And then you're gonna do it some more, get a little bit more product and come in here and do this eye. And do you see how well this blends out? And just the lightest little touch of your brush and it blends. It does not take much effort at all. But you don't wanna to go too far in because then you're gonna cover up that copper rose shimmer and you don't want to, um, you don't wanna lose that gorgeous, gorgeous brown color in the center there. See how pretty? Love it. So, and, and you can like blend with your fingers, you can blend with your brushes, however you wanna do it. But it's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my fingers off a little bit here. Cause next we're gonna do liner, the best part. Okay, so here's where everybody's always for some reason gets really scared. And I find this to be really, really simple. I know the copper rose is really, really pretty. Um, do you ever highlight with snow? Yes, I do highlight with snow. Snow is just a little bit harsh for me. I like the shimmer of um, sandstone pearl shimmer above my eyes. I also like pink frost underneath my eyes right here, underneath my brow bone, I mean. So those two, either sandstone pearl shimmer or pink frost are my two highlighting ones. I tend to use snow here in the center when I'm trying to highlight the inside corners right here is where I use snow the most. So here's what I use for my eyeliner. So Onyx is our black um, shadow sense that we have. Most people use it as a liner. This is a brush, this little tiny angled brush is how I'm gonna put it on. Do not be afraid of this, ladies. This is super easy, and if black is too harsh, you can use brown. So you're just gonna come in right on your lash line and give yourself eyeliner. So this won't smudge, it's not gonna smear throughout the day. I put mine on at 5.30 this morning and I still looked perfect right before I took it off to come put it back on for you guys. See? So it's a nice thin line, so all you have to have is this little tiny brush, it's perfect. All right, so then here's, this is gonna be tough to do with, you know, having to hold something here. So we're gonna see how well I can do this winged eyeliner look with having to hold a mirror. Um, it could be interesting. So bear with me, I've gotta use a little mirror. So what I do for my eyeliner is, well, we'll start here. I actually take the doe foot applicator straight to my eyelid and there is a point. Do you see the point right here on it? And this is what it's meant for. So I start right here in the center and I work my way to the side. Okay, so you got your base down. You got your, your main layer there. Get my brush back again. Get some more product on my brush. All right, here's the winged look, ladies. Take your 
brush and you're just going to draw a little thin line right here. You can go as far as you want, and this is really hard to do on the phone. And you just want to make this so it's not so harsh right there. And this might be a little thick. So if you mess it up, you just take a paper towel and you just wipe it off for a tissue. See? It's not too bad, actually. And then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna do this eye. And then I'm gonna get some more product on my wand. And then we're going to drag it out again. And the other day I was doing this. And I completely messed the angle up. And so I had to go back in and just wipe it off. And start again. See, that's not far enough out. This is really hard to do and get like a reflection, a terrible reflection. See, and I personally think, I don't know what you guys think, but I could like go farther out with it. It was a lot easier to do in my mirror. There we go. really just playing around with it until you get the exact angle you want. Yeah, and you can go in exactly, going in with a cotton swab to correct any mistakes that you might make. But literally, it's just playing around with it, ladies. So don't be afraid of the shadow sense because it's super blendable. And this looked a lot better when I was doing it in my bathroom mirror. But you can tell that I'm not, it's not taking a lot of effort here. So, there you go. Winged eyeliner, so. Oh, and here's my last tip before we go. So if you guys need a brightener in your eyes, um, the Sandstone Pearl, two things with it. One, always put your little dab of something bright right here in the corners of your eyes because this also brightens up your face. Just a little tiny dab. And then you have that brightness right where you need it. How pretty is that? And then I also take my sandstone pearl and I'm going to just barely dab right in the center of my eye and my color to bring your your eye right to the center of my eye. Do you see how much better that looks now that you put that little dab right there? So you just want to highlight right in the center. That way when anybody looks at you, their face goes immediately to the center. It's drawn right in. So, and they all blend. Yes, it makes a huge difference. Do you get like two or three minutes to play with it? So, there you guys go. So, go and with my fly girl. I always put all this makeup on and then I end up having to take it all off and go to bed. So what do you guys think of, uh, what is that little brush? This is a Real Techniques brush. So I have a whole set, guys, so like, these are all real techniques brush. You can get them at Walmart for just 
I don't know, like under $10. It does not cost much and it comes with a whole set of brushes. Um, so I always like to pick up these. I also have some really expensive ones from Von Maur um, that I use, which is like my, um, my eyeliner brush is from Von Maur. It's a Sigma. And another one of my eye shading brushes is Sigma. So I have like tons of different collections. And then I also have cheap e.l.f. brushes too. So I have like an entire cup full of brushes because at this point I love brushes. And I'm terrible about cleaning them. So I have to have many so I can use them. But don't be afraid of the onyx and doing something fun with your eyes because it do really doesn't take much effort at all and you can pull off a little fun winged eyeliner look for the weekend. And if you guys want our fall lineup of colors, let me know. I've got plenty and plenty of copper rose shimmer and the sandstone and the whisper pink and the garnet. So these are like must haves for fall for your shadows. But like see the, the, the copper rose is absolutely stunning. Love it. So, all right, well, I'm finally glad I got to do this. So, and I'm, I hope you guys liked Fly Girl. Sorry I didn't demo it. I just wanted to put it on and have my lips done for you guys. So, it's a new color for me. But, all right, have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next time. Bye.